One person in the stream. <clears throat> Thank you for being first, whoever you are. Oh, it's Panda. <laughs> hey, aren't you uh, right next to me and uh, doing forts? Jesus Christ, my freaking dog. Hold on. Ollie! No! Yeah, man, you're right next to me. Eight kilometers away. Alright. Alright, let's hold these guys off from 1824. They're pretty relentless. It's impressive. I am doing force. I feel like we need to get more people uh, around us, though, you know? I think there's only like five people here. Right? But BP's on. Well, maybe it's BP. <laughs> BP is counts on. We're hitting 40? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're getting close. I mean, I felt like we've been pushing pretty hard, and uh, they're right on our tail still. Where are they? Oh, damn. They are 80 million points away, so I don't know, man. Guess we're not going to have a downtime tonight. Twelve hour stream. <laughs> anything I'm gonna farm too while we do this what's uh what's 1960 at didn't they have like a rainbow chest or something is that is that 50 50 is a max. I feel like it doesn't even give stuff that much better, but it's more the uh, the pride of it, right? Pride of actually hitting it. How long do you think it'll actually take us to hit it? <laughs> to get to 50? It's pretty crazy, actually. Let's move this up a little bit. That'll be another year. Oh, they're the only one. Damn. Do you know who's in? Uh, who's second? There should be a. I bet you we could ask. We could probably ask Lilith. Like, what's the? Because they were releasing like rankings for different things, right? What if we ask them? Uh, Alliance chest level rankings. Let's see where we're at. back and forth between my farm and uh, doing forts. We'll see how that goes. And reading chat. Yeah, man. I'm actually a little scared to go to bed. What if we go to bed and uh, wake up and then they just caught us?
So, uh, I guess for the people on the stream, what's up, Kalina? Uh, we finished stage two with a 140 million ish point lead. And uh, I'll be honest, I mean, I'll just speak for myself. I thought it was a pretty big gap. So, <clears throat> there's about a day left, right? But these guys actually closed the gap by. Um, what about 60, 70 million points? So if they actually close the gap by that much again uh, in this last day. I mean, they can make it really, really interesting. So I think a lot of people in the kingdom are actually kind of grinding now. Um, for anyone that says pre-KBK doesn't matter, it does. It's 1%. And also there's like a pride thing about it, you know? Um, I mean, I really want to win. I don't want them to catch us. Also, it's kind of crazy because uh, anyone who says this is an easy KVK, if you look at this ranking, so 2268 were first, right? Second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. They're all um, the opponent. And then 1756 is our first ally down here. Our strongest ally on paper is actually in ninth out of 11, 1166. So they're actually a kingdom that we're going to count on a lot so we'll see uh we'll see what happens with that yeah actually let's go check on the forts how many forts are going on right now there's a lot of forts uh like i logged off or maybe like two hours earlier when i logged back on and opened the marauders chest from all the camps i think i got like 30 or 40 million resources of each type on average opening it up so it's going like non-stop right now okay, yeah, actually i need to do a launch another rally It's already filled. Yeah, but you can see I'm, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. It's 23 active ones right now, I guess. <clears throat> but it's been going like this for, I want to say like four or five hours. I mean, people have been doing them the whole time, but I want to say we probably actually picked up our activity a lot the last four or five hours. And the rankings just stayed about the same as far as the distance. You know, we're not actually pulling away. We're just not letting them get any closer. So, uh, does anybody actually know? Oh, it's super balanced. Um, if anything, based on this like pre-KVK activity, it doesn't tell everything, right? But they're pretty active. You know, their top, their top three, which is, you know, Besides us, the second, third, and fourth strongest camp probably, or third, second, third, and fourth strongest kingdom and camp uh, are very, very active. It's not just the training; it's the first stage, the stage. Like I can say for me, like we're we're doing, <laughs> we're pushing force harder than I thought we would have to to secure a win. So it'll be fun, and it does matter to me at least. I like to win. I like to win. I don't want to give up a 140 million uh, point head start, you know. So we'll see. All right, what was I doing here? Sending out my. I'll try to manage like one farm, go back, do forest, one farm, do go back. I think it might be taking a little longer, so we'll see. We have what, like five minutes? About like six, seven minutes before it launches and hits, so. Like the most intense music ever, just to do forts. 
<laughs> well, I guess it could be more intense, but right now the fours aren't so chill. We're trying to hold, actually trying to hold them off. Back and check uh, the main again. Yeah, what are you guys' uh, thoughts on Belisarius Prime? Anyone uh, actually excited about him? All I hear is negativity. He's actually very sneaky good. Um, the only problem is. I don't think it could be a primary. Um, I would love to be able to make him work as a primary, but if he can't be a primary, then you almost have to run him with either Huo or Nevsky. And I actually think he would be a monster behind uh, Huo. I think that march would be super fun to have because you could chase anyone down. You could apply the slow on them. Uh, it would actually be, start being a very, very useful support march for like a variety of reasons, right? Whereas <clears throat> right now, um, I feel like Huo is kind of forced behind William, or William's kind of forced behind Huo, but their synergy isn't necessarily that great. So, I don't know. <laughs> the arc team is hype. Uh, Yeah, because if you if you skip Hua, right, and then you have William, Joan, and Nevsky, which is what I have, and then Mina, right? I want to replace Mina, but like, what do I do with that? Uh, you can either run Joan and then with Belly behind it, which I don't think works that well. And also, you're missing out on really good synergy between Nevsky and uh, Joan. And then if you just pair Belisarius with William, Belisarius, who, who's the primary, right? It's kind of like a weird fit. So I haven't fully decided, but I almost feel like I'm now being forced to go invest in Hua, even though I would rather invest in uh, Belisarius. So yeah, I don't know. Wait a minute, what am I doing? See, this is, I can't multitask. I'm here to do forts. <laughs> Right, and then if you do get into, um, if you are like a newer player, like what do you do, right? Like who do you invest first? You get to see KBK3. Here we go, here's the cab wheel. Um, I almost feel like you still have to just spin the cab wheel for um, Joan and then unlock Nevsky too, and that's still the best pair. Uh, and if you're a spender, you could max Nevsky through the dailies. And then for the cab wheel, uh, use that on Joan, right? I still think Nevsky Joan's actually the best pair, which is kind of crazy. Uh, even though I think Huo Belisarius will be really fun to use. Okay. Ethan. Oh, Gino. Yeah, if you only have one cap march, you, you skip them. Um, I, I, honestly, I still think it's Nevsky Joan if you have one cap march, which is actually kind of crazy to me. 
NFC is just really good. I think uh, he's been overshadowed a little bit uh, because one, you know, he's older. But if you just look at the kit wise, let's just pretend they were all released at the same time. Um, really can't go wrong with Nevsky Jones. Come on, man. Is he doing uh, infantry? Is that who you're gonna run? Uh, Nevsky Joan? Or are you gonna do like Hua Joan or something? Kulina. Wait, they said it really is true? What is it, Tosh? Wait, do I want to know this? I feel like I don't want to know what they really say. <laughs> but why don't you tell me? <laughs> I have Joan 5525 and Nevsky and Hoare are similar at 5511. Yeah, they're pretty similar at 5511. Oh god, here you go, Tosh. Setting me up. What am I radiating? Tell me. <laughs> Joan ZL. That could work. Why not? I feel like it's a little... Uh... A march, even with that march is a little squishy, though, right? Yeah? Jones EL. You were hoping they would relieve, uh, release smite damage cap commander. I think that would make it too unbalanced, man. I think I think smite's gonna stick with infantry. Um, I mean, what did everybody want to see with the cap, right? <clears throat> they wanted to see AOE. They wanted to see a um, commander that would pair well behind Hua, which I actually think Belisarius would be really good behind Hua. But I think the AOE, AOE thing is getting to a lot of people. Must be the shiny, must be the shine off your shiny bald head that illuminates my entire room right now. I don't even need to turn my lights on, homie. <laughs> Damn. Is that what they're saying? It is really true, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like this doing the same thing on your farms is get, like just tedious, but it has to be done. Wait, you never actually been in my stream before? Have you like never seen this before? If not, welcome to the uh, channel for the first time, Tosh. <laughs> Like you're starting the rumors. <laughs> Never to this degree? No, no, no. You're, you're, you know, this is like, this is even freshly shaven. It was freshly shaven. It would be even brighter, you know? Kind of like uh, Krillin and Dragon Ball Z. Oh, they're still marching? Uh, what else? <clears throat> 
The thing is, most people will only look at reports to say a commander is good, but Belly has some incalculable value from the surround thing. Belly's really good. Uh, he has a lot of utility. But yeah. I think I, I actually think his reports will be okay too. Uh, I mean, it depends on who you pair him with, right? Obviously, if you pair him with Bull, that report would be really good. But even without, it's like. I mean. Conditional 30% skill damage, 2400 damage factor. He has an instant proc, like he's gonna trade okay with a lot of utility that that you can't really measure. Seven or six. Six. I gotta hit you up the day I clean shave. Um, all right, man. You gotta just check on the stream every time. You might get lucky. <laughs> you only got 299? Yeah, but you already have, how many marches you have? Six, seven? Like, what do you, <laughs> you have like a month to get this. Seem like a, a spender, we can make it happen. Six marches. So wait, so Tasha, are you gonna invest in uh, Belly or are you gonna skip? sound down a little bit. Do I chain during KBKs? I've tried a little bit, but honestly, I was maybe planning on it. I think I'm just gonna, especially in the first zone, I'm just gonna use my AP bottles. We'll see. Some people are built for it. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Seventh would be Trajan, but I'd rather not have him on the field fucking up my kill trade. Yeah, I mean, you guys have a while to your next KBK. <laughs> you don't want to ruin your ratio. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I have, uh, I only have like 300, or about 300 right now too, so we'll see. One to two hours after work to chain. Listen, man. If our free-to-play guy in the kingdom, Socks, doesn't chain, and he just uses his AP, I don't know, we'll see, I don't know. What's the rate of FWSG? What's FWSG? Uh, Kalina, RSS? What do you mean? What, what about RSS? Oh. The rate? Oh. Listen, I don't know. Tosh. That's against terms of service. I don't know what you're talking about, man. We, uh, we manifest by working really, really hard. <laughs> you mean the rate of, uh, at which we manifest it? Ha <laughs> <coughs>
you know, you just got to put out the right vibration and then uh, the resources will just, will just vib vibrate its way into your, uh, your bag. Oh, they're trying to get me in trouble or something. How many prayers for 1 billion of each? I would say like... Thirty prayers, one billion of each, and then maybe sixty prayers for a. Uh, you know, you had to pray a little harder for gold or something. You know. Wait, really? <laughs> you guys only have to pray twelve times for food, wood, and stone. Damn. Put that in the wrong one. It's almost like too many, it's hard to find. I gotta let Panther know we're praying a little bit too hard in sixty eight. <laughs> hey, listen. Capitalism, when it's working the way it should, uh, is a beautiful thing. <laughs> See how close these are. That's closing in on us. I feel like I will almost rather be dead. No, I don't want to be down, but <clears throat> it's like. We should be okay, but what if we go to bed and then they push, and then you wake up and then you lose it, right? <laughs> I think this one's done. Half of those players are taxes to Panther. Actually, I'm like, Panther has, uh, Panther has nothing to do with it. Dude. Well, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I need to go check with our, uh, I need to go check with our kingdom chaplain about that. Cause that's a little, uh, that's a little nuts. The differential in prayers. Yeah, what is it for you, Kalina? Oh wait, maybe, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Tosh, I was wrong. It was uh, 15 and 30, not 30 and 60. I think it's 15 and 30. I think I was mistaken, but still. The chaplains are working hard, man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I think I got it wrong. I think I doubled it. And 
kind of crazy. I have eight. I have eight farms. They're not all up to speed, but honestly, even if they were, I don't know if I would be able to generate enough every off season. I think it'll be okay, but. <laughs> hey i didn't say i i didn't say any of that stuff you're saying all that stuff you know you're like talking about how there's like a rumor and i'm just saying we're a terms of service kingdom Tell me about it, man. I feel like it's, I don't know. You do it at reset or right after reset. And when I wake up in the morning, try to hit my farms at least twice a day, but it's, I haven't had a fight since the beginning of January. It's just been <laughs> farming, doing YouTube and talking shit in Discord. Like when KVK needs to start. Uh, I'm not going to stream, uh, when we have to do a delay, it's just, some people like to do it. You know, there's, there's enough people streaming. I don't, I don't think people are missing out if I'm not streaming. And I'll say it's, I'm, I'm really bad at multitasking. So if there's actually fighting. I need to focus and stuff. I'll just stand there with like my mouth open, staring at the screen. Like I won't even be able to read chat or if I'm trying to read chat, I, I would just do stupid shit on the field. So. Right now, this is all practice, so I can actually stream when we're fighting. Do you, uh, does anyone actually know uh, 1824? Are they a, uh, are they like an Asian kingdom? Carrying us? <laughs> of course, you're just going to be in our Discord hyping us up, right? Because we're a Terms of Service Kingdom. You're just there for moral support. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, I heard, uh, I heard they were Asian. I thought, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure 1900 is Asian, but honestly, I didn't really pay it too much attention. Or well, I don't remember when I was looking at 1824. Alright. Farm five is done.
listen. I'll say this. You don't pilot Plato's account. <laughs> There's still a lot of purists out there, a lot of YouTube purists out there, YouTuber purists that, uh... That are all natty. I know, right? Kind of crazy, actually. I mean, we're just like a North American, for the most part, no North American time zone kingdom. I'm, and then our strongest opponent is a Asian time zone kingdom. So our uptime and downtime literally are opposite. Like, it'll, it'll be really interesting to see how that works out. All these forces people in, around my area. What happened to everyone else? Filling his own farms? Come on, man. I mean, filling his own rallies? Six to seven slaves running your own count in KL. That's wild. I don't think that will be a route <clears throat> I go. I don't know, there's just something about you having done everything on your own account that's important to me. You're natty until you join 60. Oh, nice. Three and a half bill per KVK. I mean, I saw that Kinsland with uh, 1093. Like, that was that was wild, you know. What's up, Big Kane? How's it going, man? Thank you for stopping by. Check this out. You guys don't know Big Kane? Check out his channel. Oh wait, the pop up. Here we go. Check out Big Chain's channel. Guy definitely studies a game and knows what he's talking about. Yeah, one four to five players. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll be outnumbered quite as bad. But I think one to two, <clears throat> somewhere between one to two to one to three is like expected. So um, yeah, we'll we'll get to have the uh, 1093 light 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 experience, I guess. You know, pro streamer, <laughs> definitely not a pro streamer. Now that we know about the new Cav Commander, should I expertise my William from 5551? Or just go for Lu Che and bench my Guan? Uh, without even knowing the uh, the rest of like how many marchers you're spending and everything, if you don't have Lu Che, like, he should be your first priority. 
Like it. Like if you don't have him, get him. And if you have, like, he should be the next commander you expertise before you expertise anyone else. Big Kane versus 12 inch. Whose is bigger? Oh God. <laughs> Uh, it was fun fighting 1034 and 2268 in zone 6, even though we were undermanned. Yeah, I, uh, that KVK, all I remember was like initially in Kingsland, it looked like 19, 960 was about to like just fold and then held on and then just like outlasted everyone. It was actually super impressive. Uh, is your Archer Gear all Dragon Breath, or do you have the two-piece leadership? I have two-piece leadership. Uh, I actually have the legs and the boots. I think a lot of people decide to go legs and... Um, well, I have the legs and gloves. A lot of people decide to go legs and boots, because uh, the boots also give health for leadership. Uh, but mathematically, I think I would actually rather have... Um, uh, the health from the legs and the defense from the... Uh, the leadership gloves and the defense from the Dragon's Breath boots over getting health, health, and attack. Um, I made a video about that. Might be butchering that right now, but mathematically, I actually think the leadership gloves and the legs work better. Uh... Let us scope you out your account fully. What do you want to see? I'll show you. Uh, thoughts on Gupta belly as a fifth March. Uh, Lizard Jesus. I don't know, man. You come up with some unconventional pairings. I actually don't know enough about Chandra Gupta to definitively say no. Um, he was already out of the way out of the picture before I even started the game, so I'm not sure. I mean, but honestly, if you're all about like utility buff debuff, like why, why not just run belly primary with uh, William? You know, we're not gonna do a lot of damage, but the debuff from belly and the debuff from William, uh, and it still has a high enough damage factor. You get, you get skill damage bonus. It just, you have a mobility tree. It'll be super fast. Like I would probably rather have belly William over Chandra Gupta belly. Uh, you should have two piece leadership on all troop types moving forward. Uh, you think so, Tosh? Even for uh, infantry? But no, definitely not for uh, definitely not for Cavs. I think. Are you uh, are you freaking trolling? You are. Get out of here. We're not cooked. Let's see. Full account review. Listen, man. I'll uh, I'll make a video out of it. But there's like one thing you want to see. I'll show it. Or else uh, I'm I'm taking away from my time contributing to the kingdom with forts. You know, we gotta hold these guys off. Cause Jar's over here uh, dicking around and and stream and not launching rallies. He was actually in our little group here. Yar was like right here and he teleported away. I don't know why. Yar, come back. Yeah, yeah, teleport back. We need more people here. Oh, he's doing four with some five accounts. All right. I guess that's uh, better than what I'm doing. He's doing on one account. I'm actually dicking around on stream. I would do be way better with these fours so if I wasn't trying to stream. Oh no. Um. Oh, what? Getting busy over here. Oh, wait. Oh, I already have a rally launch. Oops. What am I doing? Uh, what special inscription? Wait, send it to me in, uh... Send it to me in, in the game in in the game. Let me take a look at it. You got a special inscription? It's not fair, man. 
Let's see. Go to top left. Oops. Switch most recent to close. Oh, look at this. Hey. Hey, Tosh, thanks a lot, man. This is the difference between a veteran and a noob. Uh, you heard the rumors that the belly expertise doesn't count as a debuff, instead more of a benefit to the belly march only. I mean, that's a automatic skip if that doesn't count as a debuff, right? That would be shocking. But that makes no sense. Why would they? Let's see. Actually, wait, let me launch a rally. Let's pull up Belisarius. How can how can that last skill be only to Belisarius? Then they really messed up on the wording there. Let's see. Um If the current target of this commander's troop is surrounded, okay, increases the target's damage received based on the number of troops surrounding it. I mean, I guess there's some ambiguity, but this commander literally loses like 60% of his value if this is only for Belisarius only. Let's hope not. That would suck. Um, <clears throat> let's see. My top two end open uh, field pairs would be uh, it would be Guan Skip and then Luce Alex. Uh, I think Gorgo Luce would trade better. But also he's very slow and I'm talking to people that have used both. Uh, it seems like they would prefer Luce Alex in like there's more people that prefer Luce Alex over Gorgo Luce because of the speed, even though it probably doesn't necessarily trade as well. So there's a lot of utility that Alex brings that uh, might not show up on the report. So that seems to be where it's at. So I would lean towards that. Let's see. Okay, Let me look at Yar's message before I forget. All right, guys, look at Yar over here. Ooh. Straight to the points. Hey, what are the stats under there? I see uh, Siege, Infantry, and Siege. You gotta you gotta roll that shit, Yar. Get it caught up. Straight to the points. Which, uh... Dude. That's really good. Straight to the point. Which uh, which one is that on? Let's see. Uh, oh, the instrument. Jealous man, I still don't have one. Let's see. One skip. I'll see Alex. Guess belly is a pass for me. <laughs> Where's the account review? Dude, not account reviewing right now. I'm supposed to be doing forts. Uh, is it six tr troops plus? Is zero percent? I'm not sure what context that is. Belly Prime's a skip if it's not a debuff. Yeah, if it's not a debuff, it's a it's an automatic skip for everyone. Like what what, what the what the hell is the point of having them? Uh, you would skip Gorgo Alex depending on what fight I was doing. That's true. I can make. I can see that. You are a streamer. You must be a master in the game. I am not. I'm a noob in a lot of things in this game. Uh, Mesting and Belly Prime seems like a Pakal Harold guy. <laughs> yeah, you got to re-roll it. You are. Um, it should be a debuff. I see no reason that it's not. It would. I mean, why would they release a commander that's? That has that shitty of expertise. 
I, 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 I would say I'm like 90% confident it is a debuff. Like, it would be crazy if it wasn't. Hey, this is why we're okay with our downtime, because Yar has a 5-5-2-3 Gorgo. He's going to garrison for us. Him and Gigi are <laughs> on that Asian uh, time zone. And 5-5-2-3 Gorgo with a special inscription with two siege stats is going to carry us. 50 gold heads away from expert piece in Gorgo. Yeah, man. Um, Big Kane. If I didn't have level 5 boots on my Gorgo, I use the Alex over the Gorgo, I think. Yeah, that's what I hear a lot. They're like, oh yeah, you know, it trades well. It's like good, but it's just so slow, like so frustrating. Like that's almost everyone, like when I ask that question, that's literally what they bring up. You know, it's like really good, but just so slow. And Alex does more than fine behind Blue Chat, honestly. So wait, someone canceled my attack? Nobody joined? Oh, did someone attack it? It's like quickly getting out of hand. I'm like trying to read chat. I don't even know what's going on with the rallies anymore. Um, let's see here. Why are there like no more of these? Thanks to uh, Hosh, now I know the rallies that are closer. Let's see. Okay, Kane, so you think uh, Belly Expertise is a debuff? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. I mean, you can confirm it, right? I mean, we are going to confirm it, but... Uh, who you guys got your money on for this season's OL League? I mean, I feel like you got to go 2489, right? Like, who else? Who else would even be uh, on the radar? <laughs> I don't know. Weadro, thanks for uh, subscribing, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Oh, yeah? Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's like actually kind of right there. How do I not notice this? It? Like, how do I not notice this? Oh shit, look at this. Um, I mean, they got a bunch of crazy fighters in the same realm, but they're literally, what's that, the Grand Prix? Like, that's like an all-star team. You could put together whatever team you want, and and they won, so I don't know. Hey, Zeus, what's up, man? How's it going? Here to see this uh, KVK, <laughs> pre-KVK. Are they closing the gap? Oh, no. I think they actually got like 1 million point closer since I last looked. Dude, these guys catch us from behind. I'd be pissed and demoralized at the same time. No way they'll lose. <clears throat> Wait, Tosh, who's in a 22 something alliance? I don't know, these are big scores. I was just looking at the uh, 2377 one. Like, those guys are over 2 bill. Right? We're at 1.5. <laughs> and they were at 2 bill before the fort started. But they also had like 1.2 uh, billion points just from the Russians training their troops. So, a little different context, I guess. Alright, 
Let's go finish up my farms. Wait, who are you talking about? Their alliance tag is SV68. Are you talking about? Are you are you trolling? <laughs> Listen, uh, here. Let me see if it's still here. Let me show you what's in our uh, alliance. Um, little our alliance introduction. All right, you think this alliance, season seven OL, almost top four, fumble second arc, is literally in our alliance description. You think this alliance, this kingdom, right? We're the underdog, we're the underdog. Almost top four, fumble second arc. Wow, when you switch uh, off, it actually resets that. I'm praying for her downfall. I'll have it be known. I'm a 1960 supporter. You know, I don't want these top kingdoms to slowly fall off and die. Um, you know? I want 1960 to be really strong. Oh, broke as fuck. Your last match was a 25-30? Were you guys a 25? Did I have a friendly KD to migrate from or did you just $5 your farms? Oh, uh, Z4502. I like, I, I heard it was easy to just create accounts on different emails. It's actually really easy to switch. But for me, I wanted to have all of them on one email. So I actually created two of my original kingdom and then just two in different kingdoms. Two were obviously in 2268. So when I moved here, I had to migrate um, seven accounts in and I just paid for the passport. I'm sure there's a way to get passports like with well, your farms. You buy, I, don't know. I, I didn't even deal with that. I didn't interact with anyone in the kingdoms. Uh, I think someone attacked one of my farms in one of the kingdoms once, but Honestly, it was really low power because uh, I had just started them. So besides having to spend money to migrate them in, wasn't much of an issue. Uh, strong popular KDs are good for the community of the game. I agree. You know, uh, I do wish there was more uh, strong kingdoms. Like you don't have a super kingdom, but let's just say there was like a parody of like 30 uh, that were all within like competitive uh, distance of each other I think that would make it really fun right so I think uh, if you think of like a sports model like when Tiger Woods was dominant everyone just tuned in to watch Tiger Woods and it's like okay Tiger Woods Phil Mickelson and then who else right or you have like a professional league where over a span of like two years like a bottom dweller could actually turn it around and get to the top uh, that actually makes it a lot more interesting so I actually don't necessarily want super kingdoms. I want like 30 high quality kingdoms uh, at all times. And then, you know, obviously the newer players can migrate in and out. Maybe a newer kingdom joins the 30. I think that would be, make the game a lot more interesting. Uh, Zeus. <laughs> You died a little. Based on uh, the the sentiment I'm seeing from most people, it seems like very few people are happy. I will say the only person 
that is clearly just over the top excited about uh, Belisarius is uh, Chatsky. So War Daddy Chatsky is freaking hyped in our Discord about Belisarius. Now, I think he would be heartbroken if he finds out that a debuff isn't a debuff, Kane, but uh, I think it is. It's like, it's almost like, if it is, it's almost like a must invest, right, for whales. It, it reminds me kind of like uh, Tamiris, maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, when people, like all the whales were running her. Except I think uh, Belisarius will trade way better uh, on its own than Tamiris did. Dude, Chatsky is already getting a little unhinged in chat in a good way. Like he's, he really wants to win this pre KVK. He's like <laughs> hyping people up, dropping a lot of gold chests, spending a lot of money. It's it's fun actually. You know, I I appreciate it. Uh, you fought against the Asian KD Alliance, yeah. Because he can max every commander. I mean, you can, yeah. It's it's, it's a proper. I, I just, I'm like, oh no, like, Chatsky's like a big whale, isn't it? No, he's a. Chatsky is a straight up kraken. Like, the amount of gold chests he drops every day is kind of crazy, actually. He just doesn't push his power super high, but that spend level, I would call it a kraken and not just a whale. Um. Anyone with 200 million plus, true Kane. Anyone with 200 million plus power should be as static as if his expertise works. Definitely a crazy swarm commander. But we have other Krakens in our kingdom, and they're not jumping with joy in Discord like Chatsky is about Belisarius. He's hyped. Z4502. Better in-game tools to view. Uh, Active, powerful uh, kingdoms. Imperium's not informant enough. <laughs> and everything else is obscured. I hope Justinium Belly is viable. It's definitely viable. Here, uh, here's what I use. I don't think they update it as often, right? So 1093 has one. Fleisch has one. I think, um, is it called Rock Forward has one? Uh, I like the 1093 one just because you don't have to create an account. But uh, if you want to actually look up a kingdom, you could just look in there. Uh, Z4502. Yeah, you are. I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, right? I'm the one that's saying I'm skipping Hoa to for the new Cav Commander, and there's a real, very real possibility I have to circle back and expertise Hoa and just run Hoa with William. So we'll see. I want to use Belisarius. I just want to make sure it actually works with my other three commanders. Oh, Zeus? Yeah, we were just discussing that. I think it's just a rumor. I think it's a debuff. Okay. What am I doing? Which one do you guys think uh, is the most accurate as far as looking up kingdoms? Is it Rockboard? Is, is it called Rockboard? I keep forgetting. Uh, Zeus, I don't know, man. I. Uh... I said it earlier, I think uh, Huo primary, Belisaria secondary will be disgusting. Uh, the synergy is very, very good. You no know March is going to get away from that March, right? I mean, maybe like Nevsky belly or something, but that's... And uh, it, it it turns like Huo into a, like, a killing machine because you could catch someone you launch an active skill you slow them by 50 percent and the rest of your murder ball could catch them uh that debuff is crazy even if you're in like a ball like let's just say you're just finding like a ball it, 
That march should be really, really good. So you would run um, Nevsky Joan, right? And then uh, Kuo Belly, and then uh, Justinian William. Like, I, that's how I would run those three marches. And I would actually be really happy with that. Because William, Justinian just is... I mean, he could, you could, he's good at swarming. He's, he's just solid, right? He's tanky enough. And you have William behind him. Like, that's actually a very solid three marches. I would be happy with that. Now, the problem is, if you don't have four... I don't know if you should invest in Belisarius before a four. Just because it, it's it's hard to make them work. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> I think this commander is better than people think, but worse than people expect it. Yeah, exactly. Right, like what what makes him so good? Um, I don't know. It's weird because it's it's clearly very good, but it's almost like people don't like, appreciate it. They just see like lack of AOE and then mobility tree, and then just write them off. I don't know. It's, it's kind of strange, actually. Back and check. Well, Zeus, it goes against the meta, but who's actually established in the meta? You know, um, I mean, having been making videos for a few months and kind of seeing how things turn, it's literally. <clears throat> A lot of just a lot of it's coming from content creators, right? One person says one thing, someone else parrots it, and all that becomes a meta. Uh, there's a while, this is a while back, where like Dragothian was all about actually stacking single target damage, and then you just burn down one march really, really fast. And uh, that idea got popular for a while, so it could change, you know. Um, I don't think double single target is necessarily bad. You know, but just in general, like, I don't think you want all double single target. But if you have one that has, like, a clear uh, use, uh, I think it could be really good. Yeah, bad rap for no AoE and then uh, mobility tree. Actually, I need to go back, don't I? Let's look. Damn, what happened to everyone else in my little crew? They stop doing this? I might need to teleport somewhere else if this group just died. Come on, guys. Yeah, they're not launching shit. Just give up. <laughs> Never, Tosh. Well, YSG. Arguably the Nev Joan. Yeah, I mean... That's like... <laughs> but like... 95%... Wait, what is it? Is it over 100? How much? It's a uh, 105% skill damage. 
increase when uh, Ho has his third skill active. Let's see. Dude, I rock farm. This shit is for young. I was not expecting to push forts. These guys are pushing real hard. We had a 140 something million lead. And now we're down to about 80 million. You know, there's still about a day left. They, uh, they're they pushing real hard, man. They didn't want to concede, so I guess we got to ramp up the activity. <laughs> we're already pre-allied. No, 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 no. We are, uh, we're taking the 3%. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Zeus. I don't know, man. But the other argument for that is, um, does that actually work at a higher level, right? There's a certain level you're playing at in KVK3. And uh, I think we're in the same boat. Uh, a lot of it is like, okay, well, what what can you actually perform when you step up in competition? Like, I, I need to prove myself. I haven't done shit at this level, so. It's like that for March like that for younger players too. Dudes, okay. Handa, there we go. How much speed ups? Uh, last I look, I was at like about 1500 days. Uh, that was maybe like four or five days ago. So maybe, maybe you've gotten like 50 more days since, maybe more, I don't know. I think going into like KBK, like going into our first fight, I'll probably have about 2,000 if I had to guess. I mean, I haven't fought, I haven't fought since the beginning of January though, you know, so yeah. Well, yeah, but you fought, you just fought 19, 1093. I've been, I've been farming since January. Hang out. What farm was I on? The fourth? <clears throat> We're already pre-allied. It's 2v1 imps, man. 1.5 bill? I hope so, man. I hope... Honestly, I, I hope at least two. If it's not... If it's under 1.5, I, I don't know. I would... I would be embarrassed and uh, shocked. And I think like if it's like two, I would be, I felt like I accomplished my goal. We'll see though. KBK KP record. I think it's uh, um, from Peacemaker, dude. Here, let me pull it up. You can try to top it, uh, King. Okay. Look at this. 726 million killed. So if you do 30 million is about... Oh, <laughs> my record? <laughs> Dude, it's not that good. My record is only like about 900 million. Um, it was actually from our last KBK. So I'm literally saying I hope stepping up in competition and then more than double my best ever performance is actually my goal of this KBK. So we'll see. Addies is pretty gross too. Addies I think was like 600 something. Um, the Peacemaker was 726. Addies was actually from the KBK with you guys, right? 664. I mean, that's like astronomical there. That's like over 10 bill. Or uh, Peacemaker was over 10 bill. Addies over 10 bill too, actually. One KBK. Freaking crazy.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kane, get away from uh, Zeus. Zeus is coming to 68, dude. You gained about 600 days so far. That's a pretty good rate. Um... What's the score, Gerald? What score for what? For the pre KVK? Pre KVK, we're barely holding on. We're up uh, 80 million points right now. They closed the gap by 60 million since uh, the stage started. 65 million deads. Dude, it's it's wild. Who has the most uh, deads? Let's see, in one KVK. Oh, you can even see here. I think Fluffy Pony, I don't know, I don't know, man. All these guys, that's a whole different league. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> oh, Yoda? Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll say this, okay, I, I literally have no uh, info, like I, I don't know, but for some reason I have a feeling that uh, Yoda is going to migrate in after uh, this KVK for us. I, it's just a feeling, I actually don't know, um, literally just like a hunch. So that would be fun. Let them know that uh, you've already been, uh, you, you already have your heart set on some uh, a place. Tell them you uh, appreciate the gesture, but uh, you're going to respectfully decline. <laughs> Want to duel me for uh, Zeus's migration? <laughs> Take him then. <laughs> I mean, that's not gonna happen. I respectfully decline that uh, that challenge. Click this. All right. <laughs> the cane over here, bullying, bullying the 2268 peon. Oh, you guys are doing Alliance Invictus? That should be fun. You know what? I'm actually glad we're in this KVK. I was a little bummed. Uh, we didn't get matched up with like a top Imperium, but these these guys actually are uh, are definitely tenacious. So I think it'll be a fun KVK, which is really all you could ask for. Zeus, I'm telling you, I'm praying that you guys get a good matchup. A tough matchup. One that you're probably uh, uh, like a 
30 70 underdog but you get lots of fighting <laughs> No shortage of fighting. Uh, yeah, once I think once uh, Pass 7 opens and we get a 1v2, I think it'll be, it'll actually be pretty non-stop. Uh, these guys definitely aren't like scared of us. Well, besides the smallest kingdom on their side that had a civil war about it, but the rest of them definitely aren't scared of us. They're actually pretty confident. And uh, to be honest, I'm not confident. Um, so it'll be it'll be really really fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to losing too. I don't even have a special inscription. It's kind of sad actually. Group died. Let's see. Crazy. The king, just have one of your biggest whales migrate out. That's interesting. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's time to consider a new home. Yeah, maybe you and Zeus could be a package deal. Travel with us. Hey Kane, do you do uh do you do armaments or travel on your uh, farms? I feel like if I start doing this shit, it's gonna take a lot more time. Oh god, watch me get a special inscription on this farm. Oh no, please don't. Please don't. 
Oh no, it's a special inscription. It's an inscription. It's an inscription. What is it? Tetsudo? Alright, I'll lock it. Maybe I shouldn't do travel on farms. You know, scratch the show description, it will wreck me. <laughs> yeah, use up your resources in this next KBK. Drain yourself, migrate out. You could be in uh, Yoda's migration class. I'm just, I'm, I'm just starting rumors. I, I literally don't know. Your expertise, uh, ZL yesterday. Nice. Okay, yeah. So you have LC before fighting, dude. LC is LC expertise. When you experience it for the first time, it's just like. I don't know. Commander is broken. Is Yoda back? Uh, Namir, I, I'm literally, I literally have no intel. I'm just saying I kind of have a feeling, but uh, he is not back. But. What I said earlier was like, I have a feeling like he's going to migrate in after this KBK. I, I don't know why. I have no intel though. I'm, I'm not even like trying to be coy. I, I'm just <laughs> literally saying I have a feeling. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I, I want to open up line formation, right? Just to help the gathering a little bit. But I feel like if I do that on eight farms, it will take even longer than it's taken you know like this is already taking by like twice maybe three times as long as it normally does when i'm off stream well i guess i'm also trying to do forts but i don't know man this feels like a freaking job Doing stuff on my main does not feel like a job. Managing these farms feels like a freaking job. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Seuss, you need a tough matchup with tons of fighting. Thirty-one forty. Oh, you have all your farms in different screens. Yeah, but you still gotta manage them, right, Lou? Like I, like there's no way around it. <laughs> Thirty-one forty. Let's see. Four hundred and fifty-four billion KP. Sixteen point four five billion power cat. Going into KVK six. 1981, 13.37 uh, power cap, 602 billion KP. <clears throat> 
Damn, Kane, your uh, your kingdom is built really, really well. I like out of all the kingdoms in our KVK, nineteen hundred is my favorite. Uh, they have more power than you and less KP, and I thought they'd already did a really good job of pressing down their power for the amount of KP they have. You guys did an even better job. Okay, two people are at least doing farms. I mean, forts. Can't take credit for that. It was all previous leadership. I mean, you're also slightly below that KP number. Yeah, but you know, every I guess everyone that shows up on there is probably a little lower. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's just the younger kingdom, Zeus. It just takes time. I wish Lily has some, Lilith has some mechanism where uh, it helped younger kingdoms uh, increase their likelihood of growing and staying together instead of falling apart in KVK like five, six range. Does Lilith pick where it goes? Um, from what I understand, doesn't the strongest camp uh, always end up in fire? And then the second strongest will end up on the opposite side. And uh, it's usually, well, it depends on the map, right? But like fire is always the strongest one. And then they'll usually put the second, second strongest on the opposite side. I don't know if they're doing it or there's some program though. Maybe Kang would know. Han Mono. Uh-oh, you saw my shorts. <laughs> That's embarrassing. What's up? Thank you for dropping in, Han Mono. What did you think about the shorts? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one difficulty. It's very hard for young kingdoms to stick together. Going against these older, more established and developed KDs. Need the right leadership and player base. Yeah, I also think like, you know, as you want to transition this game, um, a lot of the COVID area players are retiring or thinking about retiring. How do you actually help make it where like the next wave of younger players take over and it's not just join an older kingdom? Like how do you help younger kingdoms like establish themselves and grow into it? Um, two of the strongest camps are on the other side of us. Okay, I guess maybe I was wrong. Zeus, you're a native. Oh, I saw your ID in the game and thought it was eight digits. Yeah. Dude. You Kane Zeus is what like I don't think you could do much better managing your account as a mid spender for where he's at. Like 
if you give him like three more kvks it'll be a monster like it'll be i think you give him four more kvks he'll be over uh 12 bill kill points so he's already a fighter now he's gonna grow into it it's almost like taking like a rookie with a lot of potential and like he could contribute now and you know he's gonna contribute more so why wouldn't you take it uh <laughs> nice shorts you remember me Hamono? yeah i remember you let's pull this up let's see Guys, Hammono is in the chat. If this really is Hammono. How do I know you're not catfishing me, Hammono? Let's see. Message me in game to prove you're not catfishing me. Or else I'm uh, leery at best. <laughs> Let's see. Where is this? 1824. Damn it, why is it so hard to find the Lost Kingdom all the time? Uh, I mean, Lost Temple. Where is it? Oh, here it is. All right. TS24. Is this the right one? Oh, I know. You're in 1770, aren't you? I forgot. Oops. All right, let's go look. 1770. Oh, wait. I'm on my farm. Did you message me? I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm eating catfish, but I'll, I'll, I'll play along. I'll play along. Let's see. Han Mono. Oh. oh my god. 1770. Okay. Oh, what's up, Gino? Freaking uh, Han Mono, who I'm not sure of is a real person yet. Message. Oh, wait. It's got a message. Catfish. Catfish. All right, you know what? We'll pull it up anyways, even though it's a catfish. Let's see. For the stream, for the stream. <laughs> All right. Supposedly the person in my chat. Where is this person? Fish of a cat. Supposedly, this person. Wait, are they hiding? They change their name? <laughs> Maybe I'm blocked. Who knows? Noonie's here. Uh. I can't even find Han Mono right now. Uh, I don't know. I can't find it. Name's different. Oh, Han Mono right here. Supposedly, Han Mono is in my uh, chat. But this is Han Mono, guys. Or I'm being catfished. I think I'm being catfished. I've been wa waiting for new cab. I'm happy with my Hua. Chatterbro, we were actually talking about this earlier. I think Hua primary, Belisaria secondary would be Belly's best pairing. And I think that march is actually disgusting. I think it's, uh, it's the march you use to chase anyone down and you slow the target where everyone else can... Um, can can swarm them i i don't know i i feel like Bel belisarius is better than a lot of people are giving them credit for um did you guys lose the 824 last kvk homo i think they did right 
You're too kind, boss. Our accounts are very similar. That's why I really appreciate your account, Zeus. <laughs> and your stats are better. Um, so, yeah. Scouting again? Of course. Always scouting, man. Am I, I'm itching for a big fight this KVK. Yes. I want to pull an all-nighter fighting. I want I want to be begging for a recovery KVK. I want I want, I want to show up on stream, look like I got no sleep, and be like, oh my god, you know, I just I just want to take a break. Let's see. Stop capping. <laughs> Yo, invest in them. I mean, if you're big into caps, I I I don't know. I, I think he's gonna be really good. I'm calling it right now. I think whole primary Belisarius secondary is the way to go. For your top four cap marches. Nev Joan. Whole Belisarius. And then if you're going to do a third march, Justinian William. <laughs> I want it until I do it. I... Uh, King, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be begging like, hey, like, no more, no more. But it will also be like very satisfying to get it, you know? Okay, I'm super distracted. All right, let me launch uh, another rally. Now that you're here, Gino, launch some more rallies, man. Our little group is slowing down. I mean, I'm slowing down too. Um... Bell AP has a march speed and defense that XY is missing. No amount of defense will help XY. Uh, I don't. I don't think so, dude. I think that that horse is long dead. Did I already come here? Oh no. Let's see. I call it full main belly secondary. I agree with you, Namir. Han Mono, I came back to 70, 1770 this season. You gotta prove, okay. Prove yourself. Prove that it's you, message me in game or else I don't believe you. Uh, Wolfie wants me to do X, Y, belly. Don't listen to don't listen to uh, Wolfie. <laughs> Bella. I mean, Gino, come on. You know not to listen to Wolfie. Then you look back on it like it was SEAL uh, Team 6 training of how mentally exhausted fighting for 36 hours straight is. Kane, I would love that. Oh my god, I would love that. XY has the AOE belly uh, is missing. I mean, you don't... Not every march has to have AOE. You know? That's that's not some like unspoken rule where that's the only way for a march to be good. Um, fun memories. Oh yeah, that's fun. Especially the uh, twenty uh, the sixty eight Discord during war. It's it's fun. It's really fun. Um, you're going to bed soon. Oh <laughs> yeah, Ethan was helping you out. Well, in terms of service kingdom, uh, helping out just means like moral support and verbal verbal uh, cheering on, right? Folks are still rocking Guan Yu in the open field. It's true, but if you see a Guan in the open field and you see a XY Lu, who do you go for? You're not going after the Guan Yu. <laughs> 
OT algebra. Hamono is the best. I'm still waiting for this message in game. I don't I don't believe I I I don't believe it. I need to see proof. You don't want to lose your boy William? Me too. I think William is the most underrated commander of the game. So um I need to figure out what to do with the new cab. I might actually go whole. I, I don't know yet. I have to see. What KBK are you guys in? We're in tides. Uh Namir. Oh yeah, I listen to book. Honestly, I thought uh, I thought it was uh, Panther telling me too, because uh, the voice was kind of low. Uh, Gino, that's why I went to that farm account. But it was also, to be fair, it was in the Rogue Alliance. Like, why would you join the Rogue Alliance? You know? You think they wrote five target AOE wrong on the belly description? God, I, Cavs don't need a five target AOE. That that'd be too broken. William is still king, I believe. I think William is still really good. Very underrated. Like, I don't know why people like keep wanting to cite the age of a commander as a reason why he's good or not. Like, his stats and his skills determine whether he's good or not. If he's good, he's good. You know, if he's not, he's just not. Okay. Did I finish this? Can't throw on Minamoto. Minamoto is a solid. William is good. At least that's my opinion, Chatterbug. If I could get rid of Minamoto, like I would trade Minamoto for Hole or Belly. Uh, it's just, if I trade my Minamoto for Belly, I, I don't, I'm not sure how to pair that exactly. I haven't committed a, the biggest difference between you and I is because I haven't committed to being a or fanboy so I don't know maybe maybe I need to use him and then I can give my opinion I don't know there's a lot of whole fanboys out there I'm like I feel like I'm coming off like a whole hater I'm really not I, I think it's good but like at least on paper I, I would I would take William Williams benefits to the open field more than the wall. Maybe I'm just a William lover, who knows? Now chat you. All right, let's see. I'll go with three marches too. Wall Williams are amazing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll... I don't know. Maybe. Oh, wow. 1v? All right. I believe you. You're not a catfish, huh, Mono? Looking forward to finding you. Let's see. Why are you... Oh, you're in 1v2? Damn. Okay, it's the same pictures. And then, um, believe me, okay, I, be I believe you. Thank you for uh, being part of my scouting session in my shorts, Hamono. Huh, Looking forward to fighting against you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel slightly embarrassed that you actually saw the short. <laughs> oh, it's the first time he sees this account live. Um, what account live? Oh, Hamono's account? Listen, I've I scouted it before. Scouted it before. You know? Okay. Gotta be careful, right? There's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, nefarious people in the rock community. You gotta make sure I'm not being trolled here. There's a short about your scouting stream? Sure, why not hear it? We'll play it, we'll play it. Um, <laughs> let's see. 
this up. <clears throat> All right, chat. This is Han Mono. There's a plane. Ooh, King Bill. Wait, is that allowed? Tempting. This is the best fighter and uh, the handsome dog. <laughs> oh, God. Fighter. I feel like this is super low. 16 bill. Han Mono. Fate Changers. Am I scouting girls in the other kingdom? Yes, I am. Let's see. <laughs> the Bumble sponsor the stream? Listen, man. I am straight up researching for the kingdom. This is for the kingdom. <laughs> God. All right. It's enough of that. <laughs> Let's see, missing this. Um, the more commanders they release, the stronger active skills and skill damage increases, the stronger Guan and William becomes. I agree, man. You're also a whole fan over Nevsky Liz Lizard Jesus. I am on the Nevsky fan club. Max Kane. That's the third live I open. He scouts the same account. I'm literally scouting the same account in 1770 over and over. Oh, no, I must say, between you and Nuni, you're uh, uh, about 30% more impressive. <laughs> Also, I don't know uh, if you ever talked to Brian Ku, the, the other YouTuber in your kingdom. Uh, if you tell him, if you talk to him, let him know, like, I really like his stuff. He should come back and make more videos and stream more often, you know? Hopefully he gets his business to a good place and he gets to play more. Brian Ko went full Shinchi. What does full Shinchi mean? Oh, where he just like stopped playing a lot. I mean, the guy's literally starting his own business. You know, like when when I first started my business, <clears throat> it was it was rough. It was like almost your whole life is about it. It's I couldn't imagine trying to play this game, much less. Try to make YouTube videos and stream about it, right? So I could I could appreciate that, but selfishly I like this stuff, you know. I think content creators like that. I don't know. Hopefully it comes back. The sound, I feel like it's kind of low. Brian's a good friend. Okay, well, uh, whenever you tell him, let him know I appreciate his stuff. Um, I actually probably saw his videos before I even started making videos. So I didn't know he was in 1770 until I was uh, I was scouting your kingdom, Han Mono. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, distracted. Um,
Bus doesn't get these butterflies when he talks about my account. Kane, it's a different kind of butterflies, you know? I'm just a shy guy in general. Uni is stronger than you? Maybe by like fighting strength, but I would say your account has more impact. You know what I mean, Hamano? <laughs> Let's see. Full Shinshi is when you regret spending money in game, going free to play, and then hating on the game. Ah, Gosu, man. Kane, I get butterfly seeing your account updates. Your account is crazy. <laughs> so you got a you got a fan in Zeus, even though he's not going to your kingdom, Kane. Okay. Just got VIP support confirmation. The expertise is a debuff. Chat ski is saved. Perfect. I'll let him know. Your kingdom is very, very strong. I'm gonna, you're right, but that's my kingdom. That's not me. I'm just a lowly field peon, you know? I'm just a lowly field grunt in 68. Why? Holy crap. Every one of these is taken? Oh, wait. No, I'm already... I'm already get, rallying. I'm, like, distracted. Um... Come on, man. My group is dying. What's up, Ethan? Hey, Ethan. Hamono is in the chat. Let her know we have a special ticket for her to migrate over. I'll introduce you to Ethan, our migration officer. Uh, we do voice and video interviews. <laughs> 11, your time going to head off before your KVK starts. <laughs> Forget what sleep is. Hey, Genie, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you again. Hey, Ethan. Genie is also in the chat. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get to work, Ethan. You're going to start a rally? I'm on my, uh, farm right now. We got tickets. <laughs> we got tickets. See, Genie, you have a fan. You have two fans. I'm a fan too, Genie. Uh, it's my biggest fear when I'm opening these. Um, Armaments on the farm, just like it, it, it starts playing the the thing, and you know you're getting the inscription. I'm just like, oh my god, please don't let it be a special inscription for the farm. I'll be very sad. Oh, really? Dude. I know Zeus, right? Just in case. I don't want... But, like, this is a, my original farm, and I just feel like I'm, like, committed. Uh, let me actually show you the armaments on my uh, farm. Like, I don't even have a level 60 yet. Right, but... I think the Nevsky is the best one. Is it Nevsky? I don't even know. Maybe it's not that good. It's better. It was better in my head. Oh, this one's okay. Yeah, but I have like five sets of armaments, you know? Do canyon with this. Okay, let me switch over then. Let me switch over real quick.
you got a rock ad on a rock stream <laughs> they're missing out let's see yeah panda i will have you know panda was the first one to jump in my stream uh when i fire this thing up though let's see ethan there we go Six, seven. There you go. This is what I like to see, Ethan. All right. Let me launch one too. Wait, okay, launch one on uh, BP. Let's see. Ah, oh, who joined it? See how close are these guys? Are they closing the gap or not? Let's see. Ooh, they're closing the gap. Oh no. 70. Only 68 million up? Dude, this is crazy. Hey, Ethan, you seen this? I thought these guys were, uh, I don't know. I think I, th I thought we were pretty active, but, uh, I thought, uh, I thought, uh, these guys are, uh, Asian time zone, right? I guess they're up now. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Dude. I mean, they passed us. Good for them, because it's not like we're not trying. We're I'm, we're trying. <laughs> wow. Spender KD problems? No, no, no. See, Genie, this is why we need you. We need your activity. We need your leadership. Panda is not just uh, just blowing hot air, right? The whole whole sixty eight, you know. We'll get a uh, Hamono in here. Get a uh, Genie in here. Maybe Yoda or something. I don't know. You hope AT24 gets first? Uh, OT Algebra, which kingdom are you in? Seventeen seventy? Oh, damn. I mean, if I were you guys, I'd be feeling pretty confident, right? Like, look at this. At least, like, pre KVK activity. We're first, second, third. 
Even fourth is on your side, fifth is on your side. 1900 is <clears throat> purposely pressing down their power to get the uh, march speed. I don't know. Our strongest allies in ninth. <laughs> we'll see. I did not expect to be doing this many forts. Are our Krakens? They are pretty scary, actually. Oh, what the hell? Got some music here again. <laughs> yeah, it should be really fun. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in zone zone seven. Whenever past seven opens, you know. Hope we get a fight there. Should be fun. The people that think this is a free KVK are either haters, ignorant, I have no idea what they're talking about, combination of a couple. I don't know. I think it's it's like 50-50 at best. <laughs> Chizgul is based on the gold chest being dropped in the kingdom is not a kraken. He's a whale. I would say um, three clear krakens with four, three. Addy, um, Peacemaker, and Fluffy Pony, and chatsky are for sure and a couple other probably are too uh, i just haven't paid attention as much but those four are pretty ridiculous Gino's yelling at Ethan to go cook while he's just hanging out and uh, stream listening to music or whatever you're doing. Come on, Ethan. I mean, come on, Gino. <laughs> oh, God. Looks like we're tapping out from these rallies. You didn't even join my, you didn't even join my freaking rally. It got canceled. Come on, man. Ugh. All right. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, no. That was a bunch now. I'm gonna use up all the AP here. And then call it a night for the stream.
kind of weird that it's uh, showing up at the top. <clears throat> Alright, let's do some canyon, I guess. So many war daddies, I know. Are we gonna change our name back before KVK starts? Or is this just gonna keep going? I feel like there's no actual end date. We're changing our name back. Alright, Plato. Gear check? Snorlax? Gear check for what? You want to see my equipment? It's really not that good. Ah. Uh, fucking Plato, man, every time. Oh, am I going to get him? Alright, Halamano. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh. Glad it's actually you, it's fun. Thanks for, uh, come hang out for the next stream. Oh, come on, I'm so close to getting Plato. Oh, no. See ya. All right, maybe next time. So I'll actually Snorlax, I'll, I'll show you. Here. So this is my uh, commanders and equipment right now. Um, so this was from March 29th. See this. So let's see what's different. My armament is better by a couple pieces. Um, I need to update it. This is from like two, three weeks ago. Did I craft any more? Oh, I uh, I crafted a uh, greatest glory. So I have another legendary accessory here. I have enough for another uh, ring whenever we get into KVK. And um, yeah, I would say the biggest thing I'm working on now uh, is I want to get that transmutation crystal so then I can get rid of this cab health uh, on my arch. So yeah, I have six sets. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's what you were looking for. That's a little outdated. Oh, it's <laughs> freaking Plato. <laughs> his gear wasn't on his nav and he still beat me. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> How long do I estimate until I hit uh, VIP 18? So. I think probably like five, six months. Uh, the rate I was accumulating before uh, was about 500,000 points every three months, right? And I think it's a little bit higher here. So, um, 
I think like probably like five months if I had to guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably make an, another update for this right before we fight. Just because I, this is from March 29th, so I want a little bit more time to pass. But I will say, besides the legendary uh, um, accessory, the biggest change is I actually upgraded like three of these armaments. So it's actually better now. But yeah, as you can see, I still have a lot of pieces of um, equipment I need to work on, especially the accessories, right? Those take the longest. Uh, for every accessory I craft, technically you could get like two and a half pieces of these equipment. So once the accessories are done, it should be pretty quick. Yeah, no exit. Like how Plato just pops in. He was just freaking lurking the whole time damn <laughs> uh those armaments are nice thanks man only one horn yeah i uh i mean i i'll end up with five horns but i'm just behind on those i had 10 rerolls on armaments and zero stats i wanted yeah man sometimes it's just it's tough like that Hope you get that Autark legendary inscription in this KVK. Yeah, I hope so, because I have zero. <laughs> you need like three hunters? I just, I'll take one for now. <laughs> you just got in here? <laughs> I don't know, the timing is uncanny, you know what I mean? Almost seems like I'm just trying to take you, plotting to take you down all the time. That's not the case. <laughs> I feel like every time you jump, you hop and chat on my screen, I'm uh, actually attacking you in a uh, canyon. So, I don't know. Right. Ooh, Panda just launched a rally. Uh, anyone else? Dude. I'm not gonna lie, I think these guys are gonna catch us. This is wild. Because they're Asian. So their uptime is just starting, and they actually close the gap a little bit, right? We're 70 million points ahead. I don't know, man. I don't even know how many rallies I've done at this point. He's not even here. Anything's here. Uh, so Snorlax, we did win stage two. We were behind by a bit, and we ended up up like 140 million points heading into stage three. I thought 140 million points was enough, you know, because uh, if you look here, right, one Marauder encampment is 50,000 points. So one million point is 20 forts, right? And we were up 140 million. So 20 times 140 is... Uh, um, what 200 2800 did they have to like out am i doing this math right no way 280 wait 20 times 140 wait am i doing this math right they have to get 2800 more force than us in the stage to beat us i don't know man yeah I mean, these guys push pretty hard too, right? Like, if you look uh, um, at the 2429, right? Like, like Oppo and them, uh, they entered, they entered uh, stage three with one, one bill, you know, and that's like one of the 
highest spending, strongest kingdom in the game. And, uh, you know, you're not training that much into the fort. So there's three kingdoms here that would have pushed them or beat them in stage three. Again, they could have spent more. They just gave up as a that Russian duo, but I don't know. This 1824, I don't know what they're doing over there, but it's impressive. I was not expecting to be doing uh, this much forts, honestly. They better show this activity in Kingsland. <clears throat> I mean, that's true. That would actually make it really fun. What if we get smoked? Ethan. What if we get smoked in Kingsland? They better show this activity where uh, Genie might actually come to 68, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, let me finish this up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plato just attacked me again? Look at this guy. So petty, man. I'm gonna go attack someone else. I can't beat him. Uh... No, 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 no. All right, listen. None of that. None of that talk here. We're just gonna hold on in pre KVK. You know, the thirty-one fifty-nine genie. It is. And the 1960 Genie. There's like three accounts, right? I bench for the entire KD. <laughs> Get out of here, Gino. Genie, we need you. <laughs> see. Oh, God. <laughs> Gino with the emojis. Swap. Let's try it. Why not? Curse for Ark. Addy. <laughs> oh, did I do Esmeralda's? Uh, I'm a noob and I didn't manage my gems well for the Alliance mobilization uh, with more than gems. I actually only wanted to spend seven. And then I ended up taking like a 15,000 gem quest, so I just did 25. So. I stopped at uh, 70, the 70 for Esmeralda, or else I was planning on maxing it. It's <clears throat> just kind of stupid because uh, our, our uh, KVK or Lost Kingdom opens tomorrow, and, uh, and then you know you buy all these papas, papas and stuff. So uh, I'm like, screw it. I just get to 70 rather than just spend like another what, hundred, hundred bucks. 
just to get that maxed out and then spend like another what like 150 tomorrow for um lost kingdom so yeah i only did some dude Yo, Ethan, launch some rallies, man. Oh, there you go. oh no, it's not close. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Help me get into Alaska. No. Gino, what do you actually, when do you actually play? <laughs> Oh wait, you work out. You've been working a lot though, right? How much gem is in all the pop-ups? I mean, I, I assume it's like equivalent to what normally, right? Like five dollars, you get like a thousand and fifty. And then the pop-ups, uh, if I remember correctly, if you do every pop-up and like that the crystal mine and everything, I thought it was like around one hundred and fifty bucks, if I remember correctly. I haven't. I haven't actually had to do this since December, so it's been a few months. Oh gosh, 16 hour days. Snorlax? Snorlax. Is there a Snorlax here? Ethan, fire up, fire up some uh, rallies. Sixteen hours of fighting in one day for a KVK would be amazing, right, Gino? <laughs> Yeah, man. How is he going to fund all the mountain warfare if he doesn't work the 16 hour days? Am I in LA? No, I'm in, uh, I'm on the East coast. I'm in Orlando, Genie. The land of, uh, Mickey Mouse. Hey Gallo, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> for a pilot that could do 30 hours straight. That's exploitative labor. <laughs> Hey, Panda, on some rallies, Panda. Did he, uh, did he go to sleep? I look like an LA gym owner. <laughs> what does a LA gym owner look like as opposed to a, a uh, Orlando gym owner? Good. Thank you. Hope you are as well. I'm, I'm doing well. Um, we're, uh, <laughs> We're getting, we're getting uh, chased down from behind and 
pre KVK stage three. A little demoralizing. The ones that have a lot of time to be playing Rise of Kingdoms, I do have a lot of time. <laughs> I own a gym. LA gym owner. I feel like our group here is kind of slow, uh, Ethan. Apparently, uh, 1824 is filled with LA gym owners. These guys don't sleep. They're like Asian KD, and they were like chasing us down during their supposed downtime with forts, and we're all rallying. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, damn, this shit's filled already? We might need to add, like, another person or two to our group here. Well, apparently Yara's doing it on like five accounts or something. Oh, Peace was here? Well, Peace is like sleeping now. I don't know where Panda went. Activity level is kind of crazy. Peacemaker is working out at the gym at this time while the uh, gym owner is doing forts. He's getting fit while I'm sitting here doing forts. Dude, you guys are filling this so fast. Maybe I need to go somewhere else. Hey Ethan, what about uh, what about BP? He doesn't have one active.
Why? What the hell is going on here? What is this? my march what the hell oh no all right guys i think i might actually do the rest and bed or something this activity has slowed down a lot There's not much else to do. Let me see who else is on. Mm. Oh, Farmer's still on. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, we're going to raid Farmer. Uh, thank you for hanging out. And uh, hopefully we can hold on. Honestly, right now it doesn't look good. But... Uh, Wake up. Well, we'll do some more of this tonight. Pass out, wake up, and hopefully during the up our uptime, we can outwork them or something. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to raid Farmer. All right. Definitely hang out with Farmer. See what else is going on in 68. She's a monster. She's running like six farms at once. Good night, Genie. Lou. Uh, Zeus. Who else is in here? Ethan. Gino. I don't think I can see everyone else. But yeah, you're uh, in stream. Thank you for stopping by. Talk to you.